Hey, welcome back to the channel. So if you have ever used a Wear OS device, you know that some of them can leave a lot to be desired. They usually have pretty poor battery life. They usually have really bad performance. And if you try to use that Google Assistant, you're gonna be waiting for a long time for that to start up and get your responses. Both of those making the watches pretty much useless in my opinion. Now, Fossil has come out with their Gen 5 smartwatch with a brand new uh, Snapdragon 3100 processor, trying to fix a lot of those issues. So let's take a look at it today and see how well they did. Now the Fossil Gen 5, in my opinion, is a great looking smartwatch. It's got that classic round watch look with very thin bezels surrounding that beautiful bright AMOLED display. That display is very clear, even in direct sunlight, I had no trouble reading it. On the right side of the watch is three buttons. The top and the bottom one are programmable. I currently have the bottom one set for my fitness tracking and the top set for uh, Google Pay, but you can set that up however you want. That middle button is used for navigating back and going back to the clock face. And also it has a rotating dial on it so you can navigate really, really easily through the menus. And that's a very sensitive, very satisfying way to navigate through the list menus on this watch. On the left side of the watch is a speaker to take calls and get the responses from the Google Assistant. And then around on the back of the watch is the heart rate sensor. Now getting into some of the specs of this watch, as I mentioned earlier, it's using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 3100 processor. It's got eight gigs of storage and one gig of RAM. That one gig of RAM helps a lot in the performance that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit here. It's also got GPS, accelerometer, altimeter, gyroscope, all that stuff that you would expect in a watch like this. And it also has NFC, so you can use this as a Google Pay device, and that works really well. I've used that a bunch. That has worked flawlessly. Now this watch is water resistant, but only up to three atmospheres. Now three atmospheres is really good. You're not gonna have to worry about washing your hands, sweating with it, anything like that. And even though Fossil says you can track your swimming with it, I honestly wouldn't do that too much. I definitely would never take it into salt water and use it very sparingly in fresh or pool water. So just use that sparingly if you're gonna be using it for any aquatic based tracking. So the Fossil Gen 5 uses the latest version of Wear OS, which at the time of this video is version 3.9, and it's a fluid, flawless experience. I very rarely saw it slow down. This is definitely the best experience I've had with any Wear OS device. That one gig of RAM and that Snapdragon 3100 processor really shine on this device and make it a joy to use. So as you would expect on this watch, it tracks a bunch of stuff. It tracks your steps, your calories, your distance, your heart rate. It does not do sleep tracking without third-party apps, and those are kind of questionable how those work. I haven't had a lot of great luck with those third-party uh, sleep tracking apps, but your mileage may vary on that one. Now it does track a bunch of workout activities too. Google Fit has a whole list of activities you can track. Some are indoor, some are outdoor. They track really well. When you're doing the outdoor tracking, the device does have a GPS, but if you are tethered to your phone, it uses the GPS on your phone. If I don't have my phone with me, you can also track because it has the GPS built in. But for me, it takes a really, really long time to get a GPS lock. I'm talking several minutes at times, and sometimes it would just lock right away. So not sure what's going on with that. They may be something that can be fixed in a firmware update, but it's not a deal breaker either. Now, if you're somebody that likes to customize your device, there's a bunch of options. The first one is to swap out those watch bands, like I mentioned earlier, but then you can also change the watch faces and the Fossil Gen 5 comes with a ton of watch faces out of the box that are available on the device. If you don't like any of those, there's a whole bunch in the Google Play Store that you can load. And if you still can't find one you like, you can add something like Facer on there that has their own library of watch faces for an almost infinite number of watch faces. And if you can't find one that you like, then there's probably not a wearable that's gonna work out for you. All right, so I mentioned earlier that two issues with the Wear OS are speed and battery life. Now I talked about the speed a little bit and how Fossil has addressed that and huge improvement on this watch. So let's talk about battery life. And they have addressed that as well. And they've added some options into the OS that you can change your battery settings. So there's different options. There's daily, extended, custom, and time only. Now Fossil claims 36 hours. And unless you're just using this as a regular watch and not a smart watch, I honestly don't see how you would ever get that. This is definitely a device that you're gonna have to charge every day unless you're just using 
bare minimum base functionality, but for uh, you know average smartwatch user, look for charging it every day. So I've mentioned some good things and some not so good things about this watch. Now the things that are on the negative side, I just wanna make it clear, these are not a fault of Fossil. Fossil has made a fantastic device. The hardware is amazing. It's really well built, really solid, functions really well. Any of the limitations that I'm experiencing are limitations of the OS. And in my opinion, Wear OS needs a complete overhaul. It needs a lot of work done at the optimization. You shouldn't have to throw a bunch of hardware at an OS to make it work well. If they had took the time to optimize it, improve that battery life, improve that performance a little bit, we would see some much cheaper uh, Wear OS devices coming out. And I honestly think that they would have a pretty big market share and uh, be a big competitor for something like the Galaxy Watch. They just put a little bit of effort into optimizing the OS. Now, hopefully you found this video useful and informative. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Come see me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Love meeting new people over there and chatting with them. And I'll see you in the next video.